someone's shown up in my mailbox unexpectedly. part about this book is all the wonderful little things that are hidden inside of it. I mean, this pop-up cockroach is pretty, pretty nifty. But the best parts are
this frame um, from a, it was a terrible diorama, something really hideous, like, I don't know, I can't remember, a beach scene or something. So I, I took everything out and I repainted it. And this creature that's in it is called a Weta. This is a tree. you which god rolls which finger mercury apollo saturn jupiter and will and logic roll the thumb which makes perfect sense to me
Street many years ago. I must have been 17. I was walking through um, this part of the street that wasn't really well lit, and I came upon this group of people. At first I thought it was just a man by himself, but I realized he was in a tent off in a parking lot with a small group of other people, and they weren't normal transients. They were gypsies, clearly gypsies they looked like, mixing gutter punks and hippies, but with something old, ancient, very European. One of the people approached me, this man, and he offered to read my palm in exchange for a couple of cigarettes. <laughs> and he read my palm, and he told me all about myself. He had this amazing Eastern European accent that I couldn't quite pin down, because clearly he had been transient for most of his life traveling about from place to place with his family, his group, his tribe. And I listened very intently, and I was very interested in what he had to say. And at the end, I gave him a couple cigarettes, and I walked away, and I thought about what he had said. And I decided to sleep on it. And the next morning I woke up and I felt the same. He had been wrong about every single thing that he had told me about myself.